Hey everyone, Nightlight9 here, and in this video I want to go over the newest updates that just came out. I logged in this morning, and I saw what I had been suspecting all along. The Rebirth crossover is coming soon, and uh, let's kind of look into a little bit of what that means. So, two days ago I said that I thought it was coming in about two weeks. Turns out it's a little bit earlier than that. It's actually going to be here February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. So about eight days from today, uh, that's going to give us plenty of time to get in a lot of cool things. Um, and it says here, in this crossover event, experience the story of Sephiroth and Cloud as they begin their investigation of the Nebel Reactor. Now, I love this picture, except for the fact that Cloud kind of looks like a tiny human compared to Sephiroth. But other than that, it's super dope looking. Uh, this guy looks really fierce. And, uh, I, yeah, I'm really excited here. I also like the fact they're going to have limited time weapons, gear, and various campaigns are planned to take place. So, uh, very, very cool. They have also released a video trailer on Twitch, and they don't link to it here, which, I don't know, I, I still don't understand why they don't do that. And by Twitch, I mean Twitter. <laughs> I don't know why I said Twitch. Anyway, Twitter, X, yeah, whichever we want to call it. And we're going to go ahead and watch that trailer right now. It's uh, really short. It's only about 37 seconds long. But let's go ahead and just kind of get into it. Okay, so really nothing there to go off of um, other than that was adult Sephiroth, was not young Sephiroth. I don't know. Is it possible? Is it possible? No, there's no way they would introduce adult Sephiroth right after Yuffie. I mean, that would be a really big thing to commemorate Rebirth with. But would they would they dare add two new characters back to back? I just don't see that really happening. It would be awesome, though. Um, I'm just kind of speculating from this trailer because other than that, I don't really think that there's anything else that it that it really gives away here. I mean, the only other thing we see is Cloud uh, and some Shinra soldiers. So. Who knows? Really hard to tell. But uh, that stuff is very, very cool, and I am extremely excited to see what we get. Um, my, my last piece of speculation on this is that there will be a banner with, uh, you know, limited time weapons, just like the Final Fantasy IX banner. Um, maybe not, but it, it seems with all the hype, why wouldn't you do something that makes everybody think this is, has to be now or never? I don't know. That's just kind of what my thoughts are, and I have like 43,000 crystals, so I'm very excited about that. Um, other than that, we have Chapter 6 coming soon, too. That's going to be here tomorrow, along with the new Ranking Dungeon. Uh, they're adding a couple new ones here, and I think that's pretty cool because it's been a long time uh, since we've gotten, you know, some new Crisis Dungeons. They're even adding a very hard to La Pena Coast. Uh, yeah, very cool. Um, nothing, you know, extremely exciting, but... I like any time they add content and give us a little bit more story. I'm always here for it. And last, we have the dungeon ranking that also starts tomorrow, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And one of the things that I'm really excited to see is this right here. Strategy information, fire and lightning elements are effective, so it looks like I'm not going to be punished yet for not pulling on the Yuffie banner. And, you know, this has kind of been a thing that they've been doing now for a few different ranking events where the banners that come out right before the ranking dungeon, uh, they don't really play a role. So this is going to be kind of back to that fire one that we did in the beginning of the year with Cloud and Sephiroth. I did pull on that pretty hard. 
So I have that. I have the lightning. I'll be really excited for this one and to see how I can do. I'll be trying to get a top 100 spot. And uh, yeah, that looks like all of the news that we've got. Um, I'm really excited, though, that they officially announced the rebirth. That is, to me, the number one piece of news. Uh, the dungeon ranking, always cool, just because it's something else to do. They're going to be adding some more content, but I'm really excited to see what the content's going to be for the Rebirth crossover. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts, if you have any predictions, who we'll maybe see featured on the banner. Obviously, it said Cloud and Sephiroth. If we get a Cloud and Sephiroth banner, that would be amazing. Um, I... You know, be, that would be like ideal for me um knowing how they like to do stuff they may split it up and have you know a cloud banner a sephiroth banner i don't know i'd like to hear your thoughts on that and any other thoughts you might have about you know what you think you know the events might be or what some of the limited items might be if you have any insight into that whatsoever i would love to hear it well that's all i have for this video so Stick around, I will have a guide, hopefully, for the event dungeon coming out. Um, I would guess maybe in, like, you know, um, hopefully, like, Friday morning is my guess. Because uh, usually, you know, I don't have time to play it at night, but I do the next day. So, that's all I've got for you today. Subscribe to my channel for future updates if you're not already. If you are, well, thank you. I appreciate all of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.